Hey, Dr. G here. Thanks for watching this short video. In today's video, I'm coming to you straight from my home gym, and I'm going to be talking about how to prevent low back injuries and shoulder injuries whenever you go work out. Now, the reason I'm putting this video together is because I get a lot of emails from people hurting themselves at the gym, especially in the low back and the shoulders. So we're going to start off with the shoulders, okay? So the shoulder is most commonly hurt whenever you're moving it upward in this direction, whether it's a press or a pull, and also combining that with internal rotation of the shoulder. So internal rotation of the shoulder means that your thumbs are turning inward. If I rotate my arm bone inward, the, the thumb will follow in this direction, so that's internal rotation of the shoulder. Now external will be the opposite. If I turn my arm bone the other way, the thumb goes outward. So think about it that way. Whenever your thumbs are pointing towards the midline, that's internal rotation. Whenever they're doing the opposite, that's external rotation. And then when you're in the middle, in the middle area here, this is the neutral position, okay? So as far as the shoulder is concerned, the worst thing you can do, the worst movements, exercises, are internal rotation and also putting it upwards in this direction, okay? And the reason for that is because you have rotator cuff tendons that run from your scapula that attach, attach to your arm bone. So whenever you're moving them up and rotating, you can impinge those tendons in here under a bone called the acromion, and you can have what's called an impingement of the shoulder. Now, if we look at a bar here, a pull-up bar, this is a very common exercise where people hurt themselves. You're in a position where your arms are internally rotated and also up. So look at our thumbs. They're internally rotated and up, okay? So that's gonna put a lot of stress on the shoulder. So the other option you have, and a better option than internal rotation would be to do the opposite, external rotation. This is a good, better position for the shoulder. Now if we look at this, this is just like a chin-up, okay? So we're in a chin-up position. However, when you go out too much, then you're putting more stress on the inside of the elbow and also on the wrists. And the problem with a fixed bar is that it doesn't allow for natural movement, okay? So you're in a fixed position. You can't change that position. So what you have to do is you have to meet in the middle. Do an exercise or a pull-up where you're not going in too much and you're not going out too much. So the best thing to do would be a neutral pull-up, just like this, okay? However, many gyms don't have that option. So the next best, best option is what I'm going to show you right here. This product is called the Angles 90. And it's basically a handle that attaches to many different types of gym equipment. So very simple to use. Throw it around the bar, thread it through itself, and now you have a handle. Okay, that's the angles 90. Now, with the angles 90, I can start in a neutral position from a pull-up and then pull myself up. And you're going to notice that as I pull myself up, my arms are going to slowly rotate a little bit. However, they're not going to be rotating all the way. They're going to rotate up to here, not all the way here where it's putting too much pressure on my wrists and my elbows. I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to do a pull up here. I start from the neutral position, pull myself up, and you can see my wrists are slightly angled, not completely. And then I come back down and I'm in that neutral position. So that's one tip you can use to prevent shoulder injuries. The Angles 90 has that rotation that allows you to move your, your joints in a better natural range of motion. So you're going to suffer less joint pain and you're also going to get better contractions at the end. Now I'm going to show you how to use these also for a deadlift so that you can prevent low back injuries. So now we're talking about low back injuries. The low back is commonly injured in a deadlift exercise. And the reason for that is because a deadlift requires a lot of technique and also a lot of mobility in your joints such as the hip and the ankles. A lot of people don't have that hip mobility. However, they continue to use the deadlift and then they hurt themselves. Okay, so first thing you have to do is work on your mobility and then work on proper form as well. Okay, so when I mean mobility, I mean the ability to push your butt back and also be able to sink down so that you use your hip more than your low back when lifting up weight from the floor. Okay, so hip mobility means being able to sit back just like this Okay, pushing your butt back and you notice my back is straight. So whenever it comes to lifting a deadlift, I'm able to do this and not injure my back. Okay, same on the way down. I bring it down, my back is straight and all my muscles in the posterior chain, the, the glutes, the hamstrings are pushing up instead of my low back. But what happens is people lack hip mobility. So they lack the, the ability to push back and down. So Whenever they lack that movement, the body has to compensate somewhere else, and it does so with the low back. Okay, so let's say I have bad hip mobility, and, and I can't 
push all the way back, what happens next? In order to pick up the weight, I have to bend down from the low back area, and that's when people hurt themselves. Okay? Also, whenever you're doing a, a deadlift, you have to make sure that you contract your lats so that your shoulders are set in place, and that's going to help you to stabilize the spine as well. Now, what we can do is we can use the angles 90 to lift the bar a little bit higher so that you're not putting as much stress on the low back. Normally, I would have to get very low to get to the bar. And with the angles 90, this raises the level of my grip higher so I don't have to start so low. So instead of going all the way down and hurting my back, if I don't have that hip mobility, I can start from here where my spine is a little bit straighter and then I can just lift up, come back down. I don't have to go all the way down. I can start right here. And another good thing about this is that my shoulders are more in a posterior position because of the neutral grip. Instead of being forward where I have less leverage, my shoulders are back now. Okay, so lift up, come back down. Okay, my spine doesn't have to be bent and my hips don't have to go as far back. There you have it. Now you know how to prevent low back injuries and shoulder injuries at the gym. Believe me, the price you pay for a pair of these is nothing compared for the price you're going to pay for the treatment of a herniated disc in the low back or, or a rotator cuff injury in the shoulder. So make sure you get yourself one of these. The angle is 90. They're very simple to use. I'm going to leave a link right in the description of this video where you can click on it and it's going to give you an automatic 10% discount at checkout. Thanks again for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments and questions down below, and I'll catch you on the next one.